Khalif, I can't even say his name until I'm gone. But uh, I hope to get this name right. I am now joined, as promised, by uh, Lizzie Tupman. Hello. Who is a uh, bit of an internet sensation in ways, <laughs> aren't you? Because uh, that's how I've said that, but I don't really believe him. So. Well, I come across you from the internet and you're also reading the paper. And I've got to say, you actually do have a. You're going somewhere with it, Thank definitely. You. But uh, let's go to the beginning. Mm -hmm. How did you um, start off with it? Um, the YouTube or just singing in general? Just singing in general, how did you uh, get into it? I was about eight and I wanted to be Michael Jackson. I was like, well, I still think he's amazing, but yeah. And then when I was about 13, I was getting a bit confused like where I wanted to go, but then I started listening to rock music, so I went back to music, started playing guitar and stuff. How did you get into the guitar? Um, it was a Lindsay Lohan film. She played guitar in it and I thought it just looked really good, that Freaky, Fri Freaky Friday film. And then after that, obviously, it was bands like Green Day and My Chemical Romance. Yeah. So the media has compared you to artists like such as Lily Allen, which mm -hmm. is a big one, Ed Sheeran <laughs> and even Justin Bieber. What do you make of that? Um, I don't mind. I think they're all pretty cool. But I think that's just the YouTube thing, isn't it? That they were all kind of got famous off the internet yeah. instead of um, like finding a label straight away, I suppose. Yeah, and do you write your own material or is it covers? I mainly do covers on the internet because it's people usually prefer it, but I'm writing my own stuff and once I've got this band sorted eventually, then we'll be writing our own stuff as well. So um, you are, are, are you going to be treating us to any of your own stuff today? Yeah, or? I'll do uh, three of my own, the newer ones. Right, cool. And do you, um, is it, you know the audition shows like mm -hmm. X Factor and Britain's Got Talent, have you ever thought of auditioning for them? What do you make of them? Is it? I think when I was pretty young I thought of auditioning for them but I don't, you don't get enough like creative control I don't think like they want you to do covers instead of your own music and they want they want someone who they can mould into their own yeah. kind of thing. I don't think I'd be into it. How about the experience of it? Just to, just to mm. see how far you'd go with yeah, it? Yeah I've, I've thought of that yeah I've thought about entering just hoping not to win so I can get a bit more exposure but yeah. <laughs> how about your highlights so far? In, in what, in, yeah, in. Um, I'm not sure. I've liked playing a few of the, the more like smaller gigs, I suppose, where people listen more rather than the kind of annoying pub gigs. The rowdy ones. Yeah. yeah. And um, if, it, if you had the opportunity to collaborate with an artist of some kind, who would it be and why? Probably um, Tonight Alive, because it's a pretty new band, but it's like, the exact kind of thing I want to do, like the singer's a girl and she's got a similar kind of voice to me even though she's Australian. And um, she tweeted me the other day saying that I've got a really great voice and stuff. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, I'd love to work with her. That's really yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah. It really gives you that motivation when you hit, you know, someone that you think, yeah. oh, you know, I'd love to collaborate and then they come back at you with that. It's, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hopefully something will come of that. And Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one day cool. you can actually get together and do something. Is there, um, like you say, you do do some covers, but is mm. there any certain songs that you think God, I wish I wrote that. Yeah, there's, um, well, it's not so much the writing, I don't think. There's loads of songs I wish I wrote, but if I, if I could, like, sing like anyone, it'd probably be Hayley Williams, because she yeah. can do, like, some of the biggest notes, and I just can't do that. She's so tiny as well, yeah, isn't she? she's, like, four foot cool. ten, I yeah. think, about a foot smaller than me. Yeah, and um, any, is there any gigs coming up that year? That I'm playing. Yeah, that you're gonna make. Yeah, that. they're they're all probably on my Facebook, I think, which is just like my name, um, and I think I've got one on August the twenty sixth, which is I think is at a pub near mine called the Black Horse. Yeah. Other than that, I can't really remember them. They're a couple of months ahead, I think. Well, you are you're gonna be treating us now to a few of your tracks, so I'll let you take the lead here and introduce, and we'll enjoy. All right. The um the first song's probably the most kind of generic sounding I suppose. I tried to make it as simple as possible because it's meant to be kind of hypocritical, which might kind of get in the lyrics, but um, this song is called Something A Little More. No, wrong. <laughs> Oh, 
goes all slow Yeah, that's the first one. And the next one is a bit more kind of ambient sounding, I suppose. It was meant to be about, um, like, a, a girl on prom night. Someone told me it's a little bit like the film Carrie, but not as scary. <laughs> but it's kind of that similar kind of story. And then it, the second verse is about someone writing a letter to her saying, I'll, like, take you away from everything, we'll, like, be together or whatever. So, yeah, this song is called Prom Night, You and Me. <laughs> <laughs> 